Last time I talked about Japanese coding perfection, Kaizen, Monozukuri, and the way small daily improvements create code bases that last decades. That video made me dig deeper, and I found another culture with a very different but equally fascinating approach to software, Finland. Here's a country that consistently ranks number one in work-life balance, and yet their developers quietly build software that over the long run is measured as 10 times more effective than agile. The philosophy is called Yatkuva Parantaminen, continuous improvement with a Nordic twist. It blends lean manufacturing ideas with Finland's obsession for sustainability and well-being. Let me show you how it works. First, the six hour focus block principle. Instead of eight hour days crammed with slack pings and endless meetings, Finnish teams structure their days like this. Three hours of deep focus in the morning, one hour for review and a Kaizen improvement, two hours of collaboration, and one hour for documentation and learning. That daily review question, what made you slower today? drives compounding improvements. Second, Sisu debugging. Sisu is a uniquely Finnish word for resilience and grit. In code, it means fixing root causes instead of patching symptoms. If a bug slips through, they don't just hot fix it. They ask three whys, find the overloaded process, and fix that system so the same mistake can't repeat. Third, Metsakoti, literally forest home. Most Finnish developers are remote first, syncing only once a month in person. But here's the twist. Their work rhythm follows the seasons. Winter is for cleaning up debt. Summer is for building new features. Transitions are for planning. The calendar itself becomes part of the architecture. And the results? Research shows their velocity looks 15 to 20% slower than Silicon Valley teams in the short term, but their code lasts three times longer without rewrites and developer burnout is 60% lower. That's the 10 times effect. Sustainability beats speed. Now this doesn't come for free. It takes months to set up, it relies on a culture of trust, and it's not suited for every fast-moving startup. But here's the takeaway you can apply anywhere. Adopt the Kaizen Minute. Every day, identify one thing slowing you down. Protect deep focus blocks. Three hours, no interruptions. And measure what actually matters. Not just story points, but longevity, retention, and whether your weekends stay yours. The Finnish method flips the question. Instead of how do we go faster, it asks, how do we go further? And ironically, by slowing down, they end up ahead. Thank you.